journey to a new personal best and one of the fastest times ever run in the history of this event. The MVP group out of Kingston, Jamaica is having a fantastic world championship because Malayne Walker has run herself back into this kind of shape. Nothing about her season indicated as she does get the new championship record. Nothing about her season indicated that she was going to be able to deliver this sort of a performance. But just like Shelly Ann Fraser and, Brid and Bridget Foster Hilton, who did not look that good in Europe, they saved their best for the championship final. And her reward is a championship record, a personal best, and her first world title at 400 meters. Malay, the former uh, All-American at Texas, and the four-time Jamaican national champion beats Lucinda Davis for the gold medal at the world championship. And Lucinda Davis went out really hard, but then started to chop her steps. Momentum is so important in this event. Malay Walker had better momentum for the final five hurdles. Demons is in the blue, Malay Walker in the yellow and green. They come off in hurdle eight. Demons in the lead, but look at the chopping by Demons. Malay Walker, you cannot let her get the lead for the last two, and once she's over hurdle ten, that's it. The Olympic champion is now world champion, and Demons has to settle for the silver medal. This is hurdle nine. Look at the contrast. Demons top, Walker is over, and that's all the advantage she needs to hold Demas off. This is hurdle 10. Watch Walker on the right. Very cleanly over. Demas hits the hurdle, and by this point, the gold medal and championship record belongs to Melaine Walker, who now has won the last two titles in the last two years at this event. Adding world championship gold to her Olympic gold, Demas gets the silver, and Lucas from Trinidad and Tobago, who is an All-American at Auburn, claims the bronze. And there are the official results. Championship record 52.42.